All right, welcome back, AAA. It says, just like our roads, gas prices froze over the weekend. Stephanie Milani with AAA is here to talk more about uh, what you can expect when you head to the pump. Maybe you're going to be fueling up finally trying to get out of the house. Car's been sitting in the garage for a while or just yeah. outside and hasn't moved. So where are we looking right now, Stephanie, as far as the state is concerned? So the state is 271. Okay. That's significantly lower than the national average at 307. Wow. But here in Knoxville, we're doing even better. It's 265. And... All of those are really within about a penny of where they were. The national average rose one cent. Tennessee's average went down one penny. And okay. Knoxville pretty much stayed the same. Pretty much stayed the same. Well, that's yeah. fine because uh, things have been improving, it seems like, around here as far as gas prices are concerned. Yes. Looking ahead, though, I mean, as far as gas prices, oil prices, anything like that, or are you seeing anything on the horizon we need to worry about? You know, last week, with it being so cold over so much mm -hmm. of the country, we did see crude oil prices increase. Okay. There were kind of concerns about the refineries being able to honestly just work right because you know it's really really cold they're not really built for that kind of temperature mm -hmm. then with you know just like our mail hasn't been running it's been hard to get gasoline to those distribution points so what we saw in the market the market kind of got nervous about being able to get supply out gotcha. so gas prices rose about 20 cents per barrel and we're trading at uh, let's see above 72 dollars per barrel so that's a quite a jump yeah. now if you know, right now we're going to look at some warmer weather this uh, week, so hopefully we won't see those prices being affected at the pump. I was going to say, we won't see that uptick down the road here. Yeah. Right okay. Fingers crossed we won't see that. Yeah, hopefully. Things will hopefully get back moving smoothly here very, very, very soon. Um, we talked about oil prices. Let's talk about just your vehicle in general. I mean, there's some things that we could be doing now that it's starting to thaw out, I guess. Yeah. So later this week, you really want to take your car to a car washer, wash it there at the house. There's rain in the forecast, but it's not going to wash away all right. of those chemicals, especially from your undercarriage or if you have some dents and scrapes and your paint's already chipping, it's really important to get your vehicle to a car wash yep. this week. Make sure you use some good soap and water. Get like I said, under the undercarriage, but also in those crevices mm -hmm. where those chemicals can kind of build up so that you don't end up with rust or corrosion. Yeah, this saw can really do a number on your vehicle, your paint job, that is for sure. It really can. And don't forget the inside, too. Go ahead and vacuum that out. You probably have some salt, some brine in there, and if you don't get it up, yep. it's just going to get ground into your... Uh, I was going to say place mats uh, into <laughs> your right. floor, floor mats, mats yeah. yes, or your carpet. <laughs> but that's right, though. I mean, you don't think about that, but you're knocking your boots or your shoes off getting in. You, you never really totally get everything off of right. it. So you're right. just bringing that right into the vehicle. Yep. Thanks so much, as always. Thanks we for appreciate having me. it. Uh